everybody, Trent and Watt here. Today we're going to show you how to make our watermelon reef kit where you add the mesh on a grapevine and you get this beautiful watermelon reef. Hey everybody, so in your kit you can receive a metal Happy Summer watermelon sign. You receive three ribbons, a one two and a half inch watermelon ribbon, one solid green one and a half inch ribbon, and one argyle glitter red one and a half inch ribbon. You also receive a roll of 10 inch deco mesh with the red and the green, a watermelon pick, an 18 inch grapevine. You are going to get one zip tie mount and you get a 10 inch work form that is already cut. So <clears throat> when it comes in your kit, it will already be cut. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach our work form to our uh, grapevine. So you're going to simply Pull this apart to try to stretch it. <clears throat> These three um, little prongs that we have here, we're going to shove those down into our grapevine. And that's going to secure it there. And then we're going to pull this around to where this crossbar is. And we're going to put a zip tie. So we're going to come in through the back, go around that, and go back down. We want this form to kind of take the shape of the grapevine, so we want to bend it as we go. And secure it in place as we go. Let's go ahead and secure this one right around that band. And you want to go through your grapevine. Don't go on the outside. We want to try to hide this as much as possible. Went a little bit too far. Once you get one in, <clears throat> it will go a lot easier. <clears throat> so I'm just going to cut that little piece off. And then I'm going to bend to my next crossbar, which is here. Get rid of the tag. And I'm going to zip tie there. So right here is my second crossbar in my wreath form. I'm going to send my pot cleaner up, over and across and back down. Get that secure, good and tight. I like to cut that off, and then I like to kind of move that kind of down into the pipe clean, uh, into the grapevine, so it doesn't um, doesn't poke you later. <clears throat> so here we have those three ends where we cut before. We're going to get those down into the grapevine. That's going to kind of help hold. Be careful because they will scratch you. And you really don't want them to come out the back side like that one's wanting to come out the back side. So if that happens, you might have to trim it with some um, or just rework it like I did there. Okay. And there's one little crossbar right here. We're going to get a zip tie here and we're going to go back and pick up that one that we started with. So zip tie this one down just like the other ones. Trim it off.
And I'm going to go back up and pick this one up. So this method was invented by um, Terry Lynn Marshall of Mill and Deal Designs. So um, if you don't follow Terry Marshall, um, check her out at Mill and Deal Designs on Facebook and YouTube. That one I did on the front, but I'm going to hide it right there so it'll be okay. So we have now attached our mesh form to our grapevine. So it's kind of like a half of the grapevine is covered with a mesh form. For this method, you're going to cut your 10 inch mesh into 10 inch strips. You're going to need 24 10 inch strips. You're going to place two pieces of mesh in each tie. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one piece, walk it in, kind of makes like a little bow tie. Here's where a clothespin or a clamp can come in handy. So you can clamp that one to hold it for you and set it to the side. Then you're going to do the same thing. When you're curling these or ruffling these, place where the curl goes down. That will help hold your mesh while you're walking it in. You're going to walk this one in. Kind of come back and get the one that you placed in the clamp. You're going to sandwich them together just like this. And you're creating this. So this is our cut edge of our mesh. So when we place this into our wreath form, we want to place that going down. That's going to keep that curled end of that mesh going down where it's cut. And so it's going to hide where it's cut. And if it's fraying, it's going to hide that too. Okay. I've been doing this a long time, so I don't need the clothespin. But if you do, go right ahead. I can walk in. And then I just hold it with this hand and grab another one and walk it in. And then I have two. Again, next tie, we're going to place it face down. You can go ahead, you can already see our watermelon pattern and our watermelon colors coming to life. You can go ahead and spread these out and open these ties. will make it a lot easier to get that mesh in there. And you're just going to keep going with that same method until the complete um, mesh is completely um, in all of the ties. I find that cutting the two 10 inch gives you a lot more ruffles. It makes it look a lot fuller. Still placing it with the curled edge going down. And you can see all of those nice watermelony colors coming together. And all of those big ruffles. Kind of spread it out if you have a hole. Make sure these are turned under. Go on to the next. Walk it in. Get your next one. Walk it in. This is a great fun way to add mesh to a grapevine wreath. 
This is an 18 inch grapevine. I have also done these with um, the larger grapevines and I've just used a regular um, 14 inch work form on the bigger grapevines and it works just the same. You just have a bigger grapevine so you need a bigger work form. Two left. If you have a mesh holder um, or an easy bow or a multi purpose tool. You can stick those um, curls in to hold them if you want to do more than one at a time. This only has 12, so you're only doing 12 ties, so you're only you're not doing as much as a regular wreath. Last one. And we have all of this gorgeous mesh attached. Next, we're going to attach our sign. I like the sign like this, kind of mimicking the shape of our um, mesh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the hanger off. So I'm just gonna bend, or you could cut this wire to pull it out of our sign here and here. I don't wanna cut the little hooks where the um, sign in the hanger were attached. But that's what I'm going to use to put my um, pipe cleaners or my floral wire. You could even use a zip tie. But that's what I'm going to go ahead and use those two because they're already there. Our pipe cleaners are attached to both of the um, existing hooks. For placement, we're going to place it where the sign is going to meet here and here. We're not pushing it right up against. We still want this sign to read, but it will be slanted. Okay, I'm seeing right here where this is meeting and I'm gonna hold my finger and flip and that's where we're gonna place this um, zip tie mount. The holes in the zip tie mount or the wire cable mount. And go ahead and secure my sign. So I'm gonna feed this through the grapevine And then I'm gonna go ahead and feed these through it too. Remember, you wanna feed it through the grapevine. Don't go out on the outside. We wanna hide um, as much as the ties and everything as we can. Get this back into position where I tie it down. I'm going to tie my cable mount first. Check my positioning. I'm going to go ahead and run this one through.
Okay, I'm just going to run it around back through some of this grapevine. Tie it off. And you can even tie it in a knot. You could come back through. Now it's time to add some ribbon. Um, a spool holder will come in handy for this method, or you could go ahead, you could do ribbon tails and a bow. I'm going to do um, ribbon throughout and then a bow at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up my ribbons. And I have one, two and a half, and I have two, two and a half. I'm going to take, for this, I'm going to take my um, solid green and place it at the bottom. I have the um, ribbon coming off to the right. I'm going to put my two and a half watermelon in the middle. And then I'm going to put my red glittered argyle on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down and even these up or match the ends. And then I'm going to pull this and match this end. I'm going to go ahead and cut off that folded area. For a clean start. We have one very first tie. I'm going to pull about a six inch six inches of this to have like a six inch tail. I'm going to gather it and I'm going to place that right here, all three ribbons in that first tie. Okay. This tie is on this side. My next tie is going to be on this side. So I'm going to, these two are right next to each other on the same row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down one and then over. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm going to the next one on the opposite row. So I have to turn here. And I'm going to add this right here. I'm just making this come up a little bit above the um, ruffles in the mesh. I'm going to pinch and gather, place in this tie, and tie it down. Okay. Pull me some slack off of my wheel. Okay, here's my next tie. So I'm gonna skip one and go to the next one over here. So again, just going up just above the mesh. Gathering, placing in the tie, uh, the tie, tie it tight. Here's my directly next tie, so I'm going to go to this one right here. Again, just right above. The mesh. Tying it in tight. And then I'm going to come off. I'm just going to go right here this tie right here I'm just going to pull it up a little bit a little bit above the mesh I'm going to tie this in tight and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to cut that about six inches too so I'm just going to cut it right there Move my ribbon out of the way. 
I'm going to come back and spread these apart. So I'm going to pull the red. I'm going to go ahead and dovetail. I'm going to dovetail my watermelon ribbon. So I'm pulling the red ribbon over here. The watermelon's going to stay in the middle because it was the middle ribbon. And then I'm going to dovetail my green that I'm pulling to this side. Okay. I'm going to pull my green this way because my green went the opposite way over there. So it's going to be pulled the opposite way. The watermelon's always going to stay in the middle. So you're just pulling those out, separating them where you can see them. Green will come this way because it went that way over there. If you have a hard time with the ribbon staying separated, you can take a little bit of hot glue and just tack these to hold them in place. Green comes this way because it went that way up there. Red goes this way. Okay, now we're at the bottom with our tails. We're going to pull the red this way. Watermelon always stays in the ribbon in the middle. I'm going to dovetail these up. Give them a little curl. Now we have our ribbon running throughout, kind of like a wave. And the next, we'll do a bow. For my bow, I'm using um, the multi-purpose tool, Bow Maker by ProBow. You could definitely use any bow maker of your choice. Um, this is the one that I'm choosing to use today. So I'm going to take the watermelon ribbon, two and a half, and I'm going to do about a eight inch tail. I'm doing a six inch loop. So I'm going to do three loops on each side of the watermelon at six inches. You could make any type of bow that you're comfortable with. This is just the bow that I'm going to make today for this wreath. I'm doing three six inch loops on each side. It's my last one. I'm going to pull this tail down and cut it at the same length. That's my first tail. Next, we're going to add the green ribbon. My tail is about the same length. It's actually a little longer, but we can trim it. I'm coming into about, this is about a five and a half inch loop. So just a little bit smaller than our first loops with our watermelon ribbon. I'm going to do two loops on each side of the green. Pull this down and give it a trim. 
last ribbon we're using is the red glitter argyle. So we're going to do about the same length tail. We're going to come in. We're still going to make the same length as the um, the green, so about five and a half. We're just going to do one loop of the red on each side. Give this a trim for now. To take the bow off, I like to use a zip tie. So I lift the bow, place my zip tie under before I take it completely off and get it started. Lift your bow off, hold it tight. Go ahead, I use a um, pipe cleaner or a Chanel stick. Pull the bow tight. We can move this out of our way. Trim off our zip tie. And we're going to fluff our bow out. Always fluff your bows from the back to the front. So we're going to start with our watermelon ribbon. Pull the bot, the watermelon ribbon loops and tails down. Okay, then we're going to pull our green ones. And then we're going to pull our red. Our red's just going to kind of hang out in the middle between those two green. And there we have our watermelon bow. Now we're going to attach the bow to the wreath. So I'm going to place the bow down here at the bottom. I'm going to take my uh, pipe cleaners run it through the mesh. And then down through the grapevine. Here's where those needle nose pliers could come in handy again because you can go up into that grapevine and place your pipe cleaner and pull it down. So we got one through, let's get the other one through. Remember, we're going through the mesh. We're not trying to go around it. If you go around it, it can sometimes make a gap. And we don't want a gap. Okay. Needle nose. Grab hold. I'm just going to loosely tie it for right now until we get our get it where we want it. that just a little bit that way. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to pull my bow down tight. And tie it in. These tails I'm going to dovetail. Then I'm going to roll them up. I had to dovetail them and roll them up, kind of get them out of the way for a minute where I can work on the next tail. So I roll up the, um, the one and a half inch ribbons.
and pull out my ribbon a little bit better here. Get that bow where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and dovetail the bottom. And then I'm going to just going to let these come down. You can even pull them out to the side and put a little curl in them if you would like. And there we have our bow. Now for the fun part, the watermelon pick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into three pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate it and come down to like right there at the top of where the first stops and give it a cut. Same thing here. I'm going to follow it down. Give it a cut. So now I have three um, slices of watermelon. I have two that are going to have a curly cue with them. It um, doesn't have the curly cue. So we're going to go ahead and add these in. The first one I'm going to add is going to be down here by the bow. So I'm probably going to see if we can't have it coming out right down here, maybe right here on this side. So all I'm going to do is I'm dipping into a glue pot. If you don't have a glue pot, you can totally just use some hot glue. You just get some really good um, hot glue onto the end of it. And what I'm doing is I'm just lifting this bow up and I'm kind of going through the, the mesh into the grapevine and we can always pull our bow back out and fix it so we're going to have one slice coming out the bottom with all of this fun and these you can pull out a little bit too everything's on a wire so you can move it around so we got one slice coming out the bottom we're going to need a slice somewhere here in the middle, and I think that's where we're going to put our smaller slice, the one without the um, curly cue. Same thing, just dipping in glue. I'm going to kind of just go right into that grapevine, and then I can pull that around. And then our last one, we're going to come out over here at the top. So again, going to go right here with it, dip in the glue, give it a good shove in, and then kind of spread this around. And there you have it. Fun, easy, different take. Um, like I said before, if you need to separate those, or if they keep, just put a little bit of hot glue right there and tack them together. And that'll help keep those ribbons separated. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys for watching and thanks for um, shopping White Bayou Creations. Dot com. See you later.